Well, g'day tubes, how's she going? So we're uh, not standing in the doorway. <laughs> Today we're, we're laying in the doorway for the new shop here. One of the doorways anyways. So this is the, the man door. The man door. We got this uh, wall set up, ready to go. I'm gonna do that on a different video for you guys for later here maybe. Um, I've got uh, to fix a little bit under here where the floor kind of went down a little bit too much. So I don't really like kind of the wedges in there like that. So I'm going to do uh, probably uh, probably do some measuring and custom cut something out of a piece of something maybe if I can potentially do that. But um, we still got lots of sap dripping out. Look at the it ain't maple syrup. Let me tell you. I wish it was. Man, you get into that stuff, it's stuck on you forever. <laughs> This stuff's drying up a little bit here. Still a little gummy. Eh, maybe that'll make some good glue. Actually, I should probably get this off here. Oh, man. <laughs> it's coming right out of here. Probably would glue together real good onto the tree here, but uh, I don't really want to have that in between uh, where we're going to butt this thing up here, right? So. But this must have been one of the trees that was blowing and uh, I think it kind of split a bit and then it's trying to try to fill itself in. There's some there, of course there's some there. And then uh, I found a little bit over here too. So should be still fine and good. I gotta do some more blocking. Yeah, I got these all blocked here. So these are all blocked at the four foot mark. So you have something to nail your sheets onto outside, which are under there. A big bundle of sheets. I went with 7 16th uh, OSB um, or oriented strand board I think that stands for. So I got a lot of braces on here now but hopefully this is somewhat strong. Jeez I don't know. <laughs> Anyways uh, today's video is going to be this is going to be all in another video but today's video is a question and answer video. We haven't done one of them for a wee bit, so we're going to get the phone out and uh, get answering some questions here. So let's get at her. i got a couple of packages too here that also came that I'm going to include into this video. So uh, without further ado, let's go uh, do a question and answer video. Okay, these are from a while ago. I do apologize it for being so late. Um, I should figure out to which number we're on here because I didn't look that up yet and that's my bad. Um, looks like this is going to be number 41. I guess the last time we did one was when we were in Nova Scotia. That's right. So, 41. Holy. We've got a few questions here. Not a whole lot, but a few. So that's good. I'm going to uh, just zoom myself in a little wee bit. be better okay so our uh, hopefully the traffic keeps quiet over there uh, first one from June 15th believe it or not from a while ago I'm gonna have to put these on I'm sorry it's really bright the sun's like right it's getting right in my face here what is your favorite ice cream and what kind of wood do you like that's different questions uh, favorite ice cream I used to really like one that was called um, definitely chocolate it was really good but then I kind of developed this thing now where I can't really do the caffeine or any of that kind of stimulant kind of crap so I kind of kind of gave that up my next favorite covered in wood fibers now my next favorite would probably be tiger tail if you know what that is it's weird because I do not like black licorice but I like that black licorice flavor in the orangey kind of ice cream we don't uh, see it here too often but uh, the odd time I'll get a a slab of it and then away we go um yeah so what kind of wood do you like what kind of wood do i like now that really depends because oh stop that over there chickens going nuts wood um for construction is the stuff i've used here is spruce and it's not too bad of stuff uh it's fairly easy to work with it's nice easy to cut um for burning in a fire though you got to have maple tell you what there's nothing like burnt smelling maple wood it smells really good 
Oh, now you're going to make a bunch of noise because something freaked you out over there, aren't you? Really? Chickens, eh? Holy jeez. Anyways, we'll try to keep on here. Thanks, Austin, for sending that in. Um, I actually really like that cherry wood, too, that we milled a wee while back ago. It's kind of neat looking stuff. So, like, oh, stop it. What are you freaking out about? There's nothing there. Just, just a chicken. What do you expect, right? Uh, yeah, so the cherry's kind of nice stuff. It's harder stuff, harder wood. Um, but it's got some really nice looking green. And I haven't done any on the mill here. I haven't done any uh, oak or maple, really, or anything like that. I have some there, but it might be actually no good now. I don't know. Um, just for this project we're in here, though, right now, I actually do have to get some more trees. I've only got, like, two boards left after all that stuff I cut. We did lose... Well, some of it went kind of weird and bowy and stuff. I don't know what she's freaking out about. <laughs> and some just kind of twisted, and I'm like, eh, I'd rather just not use those. I could just cut some more, maybe. So i got to go locate some more trees at some point. But uh, anyways, thanks, Austin, for sending that in. On to the next question from Jake Hendricks. Hi, uh, Bill, it's Jake from Pensacola, Florida. If you have recently moved to... Uh, but have recently moved to Tennessee. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. What's the matter over there? Holy freaking out. She's like running around and something startled her, I guess. Uh, anyways, hope you're doing well. My question is, um, have you ever come across anything interesting while digging graves or ever... Have you ever hit anything like water lines, gas lines, or anything like that? So, could you... What would you do about it? Um, water lines come close. I kind of know where they all are, so you got to kind of keep that in the back of your head. Thinking, oh, there's a tap there, so there's got to be a line here. But one, actually, I did a grave, and it went, like, right down the edge of the water line. On the one side, it was perfect, actually. Shh, quiet, or I'll put you in the pot. And uh, water line, there's no gas lines back there. Um, what else is back there? We found anything interesting. There's one area that when they... Uh, expanded the highway out here they uh, brought a bunch of that fill because there was a big swampy kind of area back in here like way back like before any burials were even here right and uh, they brought uh, I don't know some fill and crap and junk and probably other stuff too so like I found uh, a tailgate from like a probably 50s or 60s Chevy pickup truck it was the older style one where it's the metal and the, the back just kind of curls over on itself it was one of those oldie ones it kind of got mushed pretty bad by the time I got it a hole. I'm like, what the heck is this? You know, I could see like some em embossing on it. And sure, I get it out and it says Chevrolet on the back. I'm like, oh, that would have been pretty cool to keep if it was still good. What else have I found? Same same section. Found a couple of round mouth shovel heads, crescent wrench. So like like a bigger one of like one of those crescent wrenches. But it was all rusted and crappy, and it, I just threw it out. It was no good. Um, what else have I found? Other things I probably shouldn't tell you about, as you can imagine. Things that weren't put in the right spot. And what do you do about that? Well, you just put them back in <laughs> and just move out somewhere else, move to another spot. Um, and that's probably from someone not putting down say in a family plot there's like five or six graves well say grandma went into grave two but they wrote it down as grandma went into grave one so grave two is supposed to be the empty one and then you dig grave two and then grandma's there so we just figure out try to dig another one okay there's no one in this one i guess somebody screwed the numbers up actually i had one once back there bugger he uh was supposed to put somebody in grave one this is the guy before my stepfather or my father-in-law this is going back like 60 years almost, 50 years anyways. There's a big, big maple tree right next to their grave one. He was supposed to put this person in grave one, and they didn't. They put him in grave two. So I dug grave two because it said to me that the person was in grave one. So I'm like, okay, that's great. The tree, I think the tree was still there when I was digging it too. So I dug and like, boom, really? Wow, really? So he didn't want to dig that grave because it was right close to the tree. So I did anyways. And then they were reversed. I'm not moving the guy over to make it, to, you know, where he should be. But anyways, freaking sawdust sticks to this shirt like crazy. 
so that was an interesting one we'll say um, other than that it's usually pretty straightforward pretty simple uh, da, 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 da. so yeah no gas lines water lines you guys gotta know where they are we were actually doing a foundation once back there repairing a foundation and uh, there was a water line that kind of went right into the old foundation I'm like what it was not active but I'm like where was this and why was this even here <laughs> I don't know I didn't understand that at all but uh, yeah anyways thanks Jake for sending that question so we're still in June here this is from uh, let me read here now it doesn't really have a name it says hi Bills T-Max just watch one of your videos from your vacation at Nova Scotia Halifax ocean tides um, what is the tide swing there tide time swing there here in South New Jersey high tide occurs at 12 and 25 minutes apart uh, it takes six hours and 12.5 minutes for the water to the shore to go from high to low Oh, that's pretty quick um, high to low and low to high thanks for all the videos love them bud Iggy Mac is what it says on the bottom here um, I can't really remember the tides now. I think it's 12 hours though it's 12 to the high tide and then 12 to the low tide and high tide you know back and forth so kind of thing I think that's how it works anyways well, thanks for sending that in. That's neat to see your tide times too. So we are still June here, the 26th. He says, it just says buggy94 at the top. He says, hey Bill, I'm a big fan of your channel. Uh, there's something, some things that I love you doing, Bill. Uh, I just love your farming simulator. Awesome. A lot in the videos of your channel. Uh, wait a minute. And a lot of your videos on your channel. It's really good, but I'm a little sad about they can't film in the work area. Well, we're building the new work area to film in, aren't we? Right here. I can't say anything about that because I rent this. <laughs> and yes, it's kind of silly putting a big giant building up to, you know, on a piece of property that you rent that, you know, I move away and maybe Dylan will take it over. He'll have a nice garage to work in or something. Um, or somebody else, next guy, will have a nice garage to work in, whatever. But, you know, the lumber just cost me my labor, basically, which is you get paid nothing for labors oh <laughs> just have to source out trees and then uh, get them here and put them on the mill and cut them to this shape and nail them together so fun times but uh, yeah anyways we have a place to work in soon hopefully we still got a lot of work to do yet but anyways once we get the the bones up once we put the skin on it wouldn't uh, shouldn't take too much longer so and yeah so filling the work here yeah well I know it sucks but we're working on it Anyways, thank you for sending that in. We'll go to the next one here. Next one, next one, next one. This is a long one, okay. Um, this is from Kathy, although I don't think it's, maybe it's not from Kathy. This is the name on the, the email, so. Um, hey Bill, I'm just look, uh, hey Bill, you're looking good. Thank you. Well, I'll try my best. <laughs> Uh, what I wanted to let you know is I have a 540R, so I guess that's a zero turner they're referring to, I think, uh, which is the same size as your mower, yeah. Uh, you have the 5 Z545R. In the operator's book, it says that the hydros, which are made by Tough Torque, I think everybody uses Tough Torque stuff, uh, don't have to be serviced. It says they don't have to be serviced. But I don't believe it. <laughs> My left hydro started slipping at 350 hours. Wow, we're at 100 and almost 70 on our new one already now. Holy smokes. Uh, now the dealer says it's a good idea to change change the oil every 200 hours in those hydro motors. There are two drain plugs in the bottom uh, of each hydro and I drained oil to find metal shavings in it. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, so that means there's parts coming apart as well, <laughs> or something's letting go. Uh, so I wanted to let you know that before you have a $1,300, that's probably US, $1,300 hydro motor go out. Uh, so those are the rear wheel drives at the back when you're using the handles. They, they turn you and they drive forward and backwards. Um, uh, they say to put a John Deere 1030 Tough Guard oil in the hydros 
but that's up to you. I would say a good heavy duty transmission hydraulic would be fine too since it's uh, considered 10W30 grade as well. Um, yeah, I don't know what they, I could probably find it from the John Deere dealer what they originally put in them too, you know. Uh, I would think that would be better suited for the hydros heat, um, but it's uh, whatever you think. Have a good day. That's a good tip. Thank you. I'll have to keep that one in mind for sure. I'll probably do it like once a year, you know. Like we only put like maybe like a hundred hours a year on the machine, so we're at a hundred and like seventy almost, I think, ish now. So keep an eye on that for sure. There's no real way to check them though. I'll have to look at the manual too. First noisy guy. First noisy guy. And now we're into July here. This is from Drake. It says, uh, hi, this is Drake from California. Here is my question. Have you ever, uh, whatever happened to your chickens? Well, you just heard them. <laughs> One of them anyways, freaking out there. Um, you used to have two of them. Uh, wait a minute, I didn't read that right. What happened to your chickens you used to have? You used to have to have, yeah. So we got two still here. Well, One wasn't out here today yet. And uh, you should get Train, train Sim World 4 and do videos on it. Oh, wow, that's... I tried the Train Sim videos, but I don't know. They just seem to be uh, such a big world in there. It seemed to take forever to go from, like, here to here with whatever you were doing, right? So I kind of figured people would get bored with that and, you know, stop watching it. So I only did a couple of them. And it might be all right, you know, shunting around a yard or something. That might be all right. Maybe try that. Thanks, Drake, for sending that in. All right, where are we now? We are da, da, da. Bubba Jones. Hi, Bill. This is Bubba J from Rust. I would like to share some photos I took of the 2024 Pageant of Steam, August 7th to the 10th. It's a very large event and uh, no way to see everything. You need a golf cart, bud. Get yourself a golf cart. So he's got some pictures here. I don't know if they're going to come out too well right now in the camera, but let's see here. There's uh let me turn this around here. We might have to go in the shed to see these. Yeah, let's go in the shed for a sec. Alright, I don't know what that thing is. It's some kind of tractor machine. Maybe it's got a description here of it. Generator or something. This is a generator. Alice Chalmers Manufacturing Company. Ooh, there's a big generator. That's pretty sweet. Wow, that's awesome. All right, those are some pretty sweet pictures. Holy smokes, that's some big machinery there too, isn't it? Well, thanks, Bubba, for sending that in. That's pretty neat. So, we are in September 9th now. This is from Robbie. Uh, it says, do you have uh, any Nitro RCs? Uh, if you do, can you show them? Well, I do actually have a video if you look back on my channel quite a piece ago. I think I went through all my uh, RC car stuff and looked at it all. Um, I still got everything. I haven't really got rid of anything yet because nobody really wants that stuff anymore. Um, it's all about the electrics now, right? But uh, and it was starting back then too, so that's why we kind of got out of the nitro because they weren't actually even selling the nitro really here anymore, so it was really hard to get. So. We all kind of went over to the uh, electric stuff with the, the big uh, lipo batteries and stuff and had to get a new charger and oh yeah, that was fun. It was expensive. <laughs> I couldn't imagine now, but it must be even worse. But uh, yeah, if you look back on the channel, I can't tell you when exactly, but just look up like RC car stuff and I'm sure you'll come up with something there um, for it. Anyways, thank you for sending that in. We'll go to the next one. Uh, this is from Spencer. It says, G'day Bill and family. My first question, I know Dylan does not play farm sim, but uh, this is September 16th, by the way, so getting a bit closer. Uh, Dylan does not play farm sim, but um, can he be your special guest on farm sim? Uh, I don't know, because he'd have to buy the game then. And if he's not going to really play it, he probably wouldn't want to buy it. He's not really into, we'll call farm sim like a slower game. He likes like the faster pace like Call of Duty crap where you can barely see the guy and he's killed him already like I don't really understand that myself but he loves that stuff so I'm not really much of a Call of Duty guy but he is so he likes it um, anyways uh, and my second question is when is more American Truck Sim 
and you should take a loud take a loud oh a load sorry from the logging road hmm yeah we haven't been up there for a while have we I know there's a new or one or two new states too I haven't been on for for a while been was kind of playing a little more of that Euro truck and it's just so frustrating that game. But American truck, yeah, we got to get back into that. I do agree. I do kind of miss driving the big trucks. But uh, one of these days we'll do that. We've got so much other going on right now. We just haven't really had time. So, But uh, thanks, Spencer, for sending that in. I think that is it for question and answer. So thanks for sending all those in. I do have a couple of packages here to share with you guys. So let me get down off this wood and we'll set up. All right. So this was interesting getting this... Uh, Stuff home the other night. <laughs> I'll just not maybe tell you about that because yeah. Anyways, this cool package here is from Joe May. He's from down south of me. And he gave me some, did me some signs, sent me some signs for I guess in the new shop here. No trespassing. You're going to listen to me in English. Or do I have to speak to you in 12 gauge? <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Yeah, kind of looks like my Winchester Defender. A little different, but pretty close. What does this one say? Warning, if you can read this, you are in range. <laughs> yep, I like that one too. That's a good one too. And, uh, boy, you've got something with guns down there, don't you, Joe? I know, I love it too. Notice, if you are seen here tonight, you might not be found here tomorrow. <laughs> I like the one too that says... Um, Notice, warning shot will not be given. Ammunition is too expensive. Too expensive. I thought that was kind of funny. Thanks, Joe, for sending those in. We'll find a spot here in the new shop whenever she gets up and ready to go. We'll just put these back in here to keep them safe. Hopefully I can coordinate myself to get those in there. There we go. Thanks, Joe. And then I got one here I haven't opened yet. And this is from, um, oh, where was the name on here? Well, I can't find it. Let me open it up. Okay, this is from, I found the name here, which is so small I couldn't see it. From Kevin in New York. Sweet. So I don't even know what this is. I haven't opened this up yet. Just cut her open here. What is this? What is it? Is there a letter? Oh, there's a letter. Oh, and a bunch of pictures. Oh, okay, this is the same guy that we just looked at those pictures, but he sent me a whole bunch more. There's a new, another note Another note here. It says, uh, hi, Bill. I'm Bubba from Rust. Oh, in it. Losing on your letter. I would like to share you some photos I took of the 64th annual pageant of steam in Canada, Uga. I don't know if I said that right. New York, sorry, I probably screwed that up. August 7th to the 10th, 2024. Sorry, I don't have a good detail of what everything is. Uh, it is the first day and people were still setting up. Usually you'd think they'd be ready to go the first day, wouldn't you? But anyways. Uh, first thing, we're still setting up. We may have a few things here. That you may not see every day you can look uh, up in the video on youtube in the past year's events i hope you enjoy them and wish you family the best all right we're going to go inside to look at these so that the lighting's not so super bright all right i'm gonna have to ignore my mess i'm in a big build mess right now there's that generator again that he had in his picture there if i can get these to flip over with my left hand oh, missing one there's another shot of it. That's pretty cool. It's nice it's all inside too, right? Keeping it preserved. The big generator. Two, 2300 volts, 50 amps, three phase. Wow. It's kind of neat. I'm running something. Oh, maybe that's just on display there. Hmm, nice little workshop, too. All kinds of cool stuff. Oh, missed another one. They're sticking together on me. Yeah, go ahead and read the sign. We're going to have a little tractor show here even today. That's pretty sweet. Looks like that one's in it. Maybe that's a factory color. Must be because the signs are all in it. You know, hard to say. Kind of think that all the guys paint in here, so I bet you they're working on it. That's kind of cool. There you go. Steamer getting some liquid steam, let's say. <laughs> and Alice Chalmers. 
Steely wheel. That's pretty good. Yeah, steely wheel. Yeah, we don't have anything up here like this quite. That's pretty neat too. Wow, international. Kerosene tractor, there you go. Another little steamer, a little case. A wee guy. Maybe like a five horse or something. I don't even know what that one is. It's pretty neat though. There's a little steamer. Looks like just a tow one. You just probably would tow this to where you're going to use it. As there's no operator station in the back kind of thing. Oh, well, it does look like it would drive though. Hmm. There's the one picture he sent there too. We have, I think I have seen kind of one something like one of this, this guy here. Gray tractor. Well, at least it is. <laughs> Gray tractor. Minneapolis. It's definitely different. Holy smokes. Gray tractor. Interesting, eh? There you go. Wow, there's some really old iron there, that's for sure. That's quite the show. A little rumly here, too. Wow. Quite the show. Oh, we'll pull. I've seen a lot of these up here. All different sizes, too. Like some that are just like, how did you get this here? You'd almost wonder. Heart pars, it's different. And we got some heart pars here, too. Not a whole lot, but pretty darn cool. I seen something like this, and it's in one of my videos, but it was a real big one like this. I think I think I remember that thing was just huge. Again, I'm like, how did you guys even get this here? How, like, it wouldn't fit on a truck. It's pretty cool. It's an IHC. Yeah. Wow, that's a big fella, right? Whoosh. Whoosh. Avery, you never heard of them before. Looks like some nice fairgrounds there, too. And a frick. What the frick? What the frick? <laughs> I think I have heard of those before, but I've never seen one. Well, that's pretty awesome. Thanks for sending those in, buddy. And we will keep those. I'll show those to my stepdad, too. He'll probably like looking at them as well. Put them back in the envelope over here where they're going to be safe. Well, that is it for the question and answer video for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully I answered a few questions for you. If you got one, the email's there. Send her out. We'll put her on the next one. I guess it'll be 42. And uh, I'll get back to work here. Fun times. Thanks again for watching. Catch you all later. And you guys have a good day.